Hi guys, hope you're all well and ready for today's fun and strong full body workout. There's a big focus gonna be on glutes and hips and we're gonna be using our booty loop bands. So the stronger the band, the stronger the exercise, the more you're gonna work. You can always whip your band off at any point if it gets a little bit too much. How it's gonna look guys, it's a little bit of a ladder. So each exercise, we're either gonna be doing from one repetition, building up to 10 repetitions. So we ladder up or it's going to be reversed. We start at 10 repetitions and we go back down to one. So do your best, see how you go and have lots of fun. Guys, we're going to get straight into it without a warm-up. So make sure you've done your warm-up. Let's get started popping your loop bands around your ankles. nice and simple hands onto your hips slight soften into the knees you're going to take a big step over to the right and in and left and in a little warm up for those hips out and in now depending how strong your band is you're going to your absolute maximum making sure your knees still stay over your toes we're keeping our pelvis in neutral keeping that nice tall lift through the top of your head out and in let's go another five to warm up for four three two and one, we're building up to 10. We've got one lift with the right leg, return, step to the right. One lift with the left, return, step to the left. Your supporting knees, we've got two on the right and over, two on the left. That supporting knee stays soft, your lifted leg stays straight. Toes facing forward, catching your balance. We're going to three and over. It'll be over before you know it. We're going to four, keep that length in your tail, but sorry, three. I'm going distracted and over now we're going to four so four on each side two three and four tailbone stays long for me guys stepping over supporting the event for four three two and one as high as you can with that lift keeping your hips level we're going to five we're already feeling it two three four and five all the way over don't give up five four three two, one, we're stepping over, we're going to six, Ooh, this is a lot of strength, two, three, four, five, and six, if you need to counterbalance by reaching the arms out, you're more than welcome, two, three, catching that balance, four, five, and six, we're going to seven, nice deep breath, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all the way over, soften that supporting knee for seven, six, woo catching that balance, five, four, three, two, and one, you feel that supporting side resisting, we're going to eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're going to eight, four, and eight, seven, six, Five, don't come out. Four, three, two, and one. And we're nearly there, guys. Nine and ten. We can do it all together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way over. And we go. Nine, seven, six, five, four. Try not to bounce. Three, two and one we're going over for ten this is our last one let's do it ten nine eight seven six five four three two one last side ten nine eight push three seven six five four three two and one awesome job give your hips a little wiggle brutal but strengthening guys bring your bands up around your thighs for me awesome job all right we're not done yet <laughs> first exercise coming over to the side your legs are staying parallel your knees are always going to be tracking over your toes we're going to sit ourselves down into a nice low squat big step out and in let's warm back up definitely still working into those hips they're not having a break but now we're bringing a little bit more work into the quads and the backs of the glutes as well stay nice and low big step out to the side five more here four three stay down keep that head at the same height two and one all right step into the right you've got a little tap in with that left out and in step to the left 
tap in, tap out. Step to the right, we've got two for one, for two. There we go. Step over, soften that knee, we've got for two. Out and out, we're building to 10 again. Step over, and we've got three, two, one. Step over into that squat, it's a single leg squat, and we've got three, two, one. Step over, so it's like a transfer. Four, three, two, one. Keep the weight into that supporting leg. Push your bums back. Four, three, two, one. We go over to the right. Transfer, we're going to five. Four, three, two, one. Light on those taps for me. Five, four, three. Stick your bums out. Two, one. We're going to six, guys. Sit down into it. It's over before you know it. Five, six. And step over, we've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we step, transfer. We go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transfer over. Seven, six, sit down. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go all the way over. Sit back. We go for eight, seven. Six, five, stay low for me. Four, three, two, one. All the way over. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're so close. Let's go for a nine. Stay low. Don't come out. Staying down the whole time, keeping that tension. Let's go. Eight, nine. We go all the way over. Nearly there for a nine. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. We go for 10. Let's go out and in and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time. 10, nine. Can we go any lower? Stay with me. Four, three, two, one. And recover. Have a shake your legs. Awesome, awesome job, guys. We are going to give those legs a little break. We're going to come down to the mat for some press ups. You can keep your loop band on, it's not going to do too much, but we will be using it later on, so might as well just keep it on there. On your knees or on your feet, completely your option. Remember, it's a ladder. We're going to start from 10, we're building it down to one. Do your best. If you need to take breaks, please do. Hands a little bit wider than the shoulders. Catching your balance, finding your half plank position. Let's go for 10 presses in your own time. Down, exhale, push for one, for two, for three. Bring your hips with you, keep the technique. Four, five, exhale, six, seven, nice and strong, eight, nine, ten. Stretch back. Take a little breather in between for me. Give the hips a little break. Give the wrists a little break. We're going to go down, guys. Nine repetitions. This is not going to be easy. Inhale. We can do it, though. Stay with me, and you'll be fine. Let's go. Nine repetitions. Down for one. Exhale, push. If it gets too strong, just go halfway. You don't have to go all the way down. Exhale, press. Stay strong. Bring your hips with you. Exhale, you got three to go. Three, exhale. For two, and last one. Awesome, stretch back. Oh, my arms are definitely something I need to strengthen, so we're in this together. Let's go, we're going to eight repetitions, guys. Remember, you can always do this on a chair to make it a little bit easier on elevated service. Kitchen bench works as well. Let's go eight times. Exhale, push up for eight, seven, Six, let's go. Five, for four, and up, for three, for two, last one. Stretch back, awesome work. We're gonna to build to seven. Nice way as well, I'll demonstrate on this next one. You can bring yourself all the way down, all the way back up to reconnect into your technique. So you go all the way down, tap the floor, exhale, push back up. All the way down, and all the way back up. All the way down. 
my arms are getting tired. Let's push through. Down, exhale, push. And down, exhale, back up. Let's go. Lower, exhale, and push. And stretch back. Guys, we're building it to six. Getting easier, less reps. Arms are maybe a little bit tired by now. Stretch yourselves forward. Maybe you can take it in your own time. If you want to be going a little bit quicker than myself, please do so. We're going for six. Exhale, push. For five. For four. Ah, lift. Three. It's all about building that strength. Two. Last one. And stretch. Also, with this, with this workout, it's a really great way to come back to it later on and check if you're improving your strength. Yeah, so count how many reps you can get to this time when you come back to repeat this workout. So I know you all will. <laughs> you, can, you can sort of go by how many you did the first time and watch your progress. We're up to five. Let's do it. Exhale, push for five. Four. Three. Exhale. Two. Let's do it. And one. Stretch back. Four. We can do that. Four repetitions. We've got that in us. <laughs> Are we ready? Let's go for four. Down. Exhale. Push for one. Exhale. Two. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Three. And I'm going to do a little one for four. All right. That's probably my maximum. We're going to do three guys, keeping that technique. Are we ready? All right. I'm taking a little bit smaller as I'm starting to lose my form. We go for three. We go for two. We go for one. And stretch back. Nearly there. We've got two and one. Are we ready? Let's bring it forward. Two presses. Down for one. Exhale. Push. Down for two, exhale, push, stretch back. Lucky last one, keep your form, let's do it. Stretch yourself forward, one press, all the way down, all the way back up. Oh, we made it, that's one I need to practice. Stretch it back guys, take a nice big inhale and exhale side out, let it all go. We are gonna bring ourselves up and onto our back, do a little bit of Ab work now. Still keep your band around your legs. It's not going to do too much again for this exercise. This exercise is working into your upper abdominals. Lying yourself down. Find your neutral spine with your pelvis. Hands can be behind your head the whole time. Keep a little bit of support from the neck. Now we're doing a little curl. I want you to keep your neutral spine, so try not to flatten your lower back to the floor. You're just gonna curl the upper body off. So you're flexing the upper back. And we're gonna do a little pulse. So we're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, tiny little squeeze, six, head supported, five, four, three, two, one, in, how we lower down. We're gonna build that down to one. So reversing the ladder. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, curling up, look past your knees, little curl, nine, eight, seven, six, feel that squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, in, lower back down. So thinking rib cage to hip bones, pelvis stays in neutral. Exhale, we're curling straight back up. We've got eight, seven, six, five. Keep the head heavy in the hands. Three, two, one, in, lower back down. So we're still keeping that neutral spine. We're going again. Exhale, curling up straight into it for seven, six, Five, elbows wide, four, three, two, one, in, now lower back down. Feeling those upper abs, we're going to six, exhale for six, five, think rib cage sliding down, everything wrapping in, pelvic floor lifting up, try not to push down on the pelvic floor, and down. Nearly there guys, exhale, we're curling up, five, four, three, Two, one, in, return. Keep your technique as you're getting tired. Exhale, we're going for four, gentle double chin. For four, for three, for two, for one, in, to return. Nearly there, we've got three, three, two, 
one in, how to return, and we're going for two, exhale, one, two, return, we're finishing with one, exhale, we lift up, and relax, take a little breather, let the shoulders relax, maybe close your eyes for a moment. Our next exercise, as you take a break, we're gonna be going double leg stretch. Now I want you to imprint your back in this one because it's quite high reps and will fatigue quickly. So keep your lower back imprinted into the floor to get a bit more support for those lower abs. Hands come back behind the head for some support. All right, elbows wide. We're gonna bring our legs up into a tabletop position. You can keep a bit of tension into your band. Inhale, prepare on your exhale. We've got that lovely curl that you just had before and you're now gonna imprint the lower back into the floor for a bit more support. We're extending our legs out and then pulling them back in. Yeah, we're gonna build to, sorry, if we're gonna go from 10 to one. So we're starting at 10 and out. So keep that lower back down, nine and squeeze. Eight, you choose the height of the legs. Seven, for six, for five, keep that curl. Four, pelvis still. Three, two, one, return, lower the head. Take a little breather in between. You can hug the knees in if you need. We're gonna build it down to one. So we're going for nine repetitions, quite high reps. Let's do it guys, exhale, curl up, imprint that lower back. We go for nine, eight, seven, think about squeezing forward, six, five, four, exhale, three, Two, head is supported, one, return, and down. Ooh, we're gonna feel that one, we're going to eight. Exhale, we curl up, keep that control for eight. For seven, squeeze, for six, five, out. Four, keep breathing and smiling, three, two, and one, well done. Careful you're not doming. As you get tired, we tend to dome. We're sticking the belly up. Think everything wrapping inwards. Yeah, just be aware of that as you get tired. Maybe go a little bit higher if you need. Let's go, guys. Exhale, lifting up. We've got seven. It's getting a little bit quicker. Six, five, exhale for four, three, two, and one. Relax the head. All right, we're nearly there. Let's go six, all the way up. It'll be over before you know it now. Six, five, four, three. Keep that length in the tail. Two, one, and return. Remember, you can go lower if you're feeling it. We've got five. Exhale, chin to chest, curling up. We've got five. Exhale for four. Make sure we're not over arching the back. Three. Two, one, and return. All right, exhale, let's go. All the way up, out and in. Three, two, and one. All right, we're nearly there, guys. We've got three, two, and one. That is it. Exhale, let's go. Curling up, stay with me for three. Exhale, in for two, for one, strength and control. Exhale, straight back up into it. We've got for two and one. And return one more time. Exhale and we go for one. Return and relax, hug your knees in. Not easy, I could tell. When you're getting tired, you start to dome, so just be aware of that. Awesome, my guys, we are so close. So popping yourselves up for me, keeping your loop band around your thighs, we're gonna come onto our forearms now. So elbows underneath the shoulders. You've got your feet in line with your hips and your knees slightly forward, lifting the chest, opening out. All right, for this glute exercise, we're building up from one repetition all the way up to 10, so we're climbing the ladder. Top leg is gonna be kicking and you're gonna be lifting your underneath hip. Think about pushing away from this shoulder. Are we ready? We're going out for one and in. We're building it up to 10 for one, for two and down. Take a little break in between for three, for two, for one, and return. Going to four, and four, three, two, one, and return. Now quickly, if it gets too much, just stay on your, on your um, side and just do the kick. We're going to five, five, four, 
three, strong control, two, one, and return, take a little break in between, we're going to six, exhale, two, three, four, five, feel that underneath side, and six, it's resisting and it is working, we're going to seven, let's go, seven, six, push it out, five, exhale, four, three, two, and one, return, we're going to eight, guys, we are so close, keep it going for me, let's go, eight, seven, six, push out, five, control that kick, four, three, lift those hips, two, and one, and down, nearly there, let's go, exhale, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the way down, we've got nine and ten to finish, we can do it, it gets stronger, it gets harder, let's go, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, it's that underneath hip that's starting to fatigue, isn't it, we've got ten to go, this is it, ten, nine, keep that control, eight, seven, six, push away from the shoulder, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, pop yourselves up, just take a quick stretch of that undo side, you also feel it down into that bottom hip, inhale and exhale, just breathe into that stretch for me. Nice thing about all these ladder exercises is they're over quite quickly, but they do go really strong into that burn, even though they're quick. We're going straight to the second side, so spin yourselves around. Make sure you're aligned. Remember, you can keep your bottom hip on the floor. If it gets a little bit too much, we're starting at one. We're building it back up to 10. Are we ready? Let's go out and down, rest. We go two, out and rest. We go for three, three, two, one, and rest, we're going to four, four, three, two, feel those obliques working, out, and rest, we've got five, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, can we go up to six, this is where it starts to get higher, the second part, and we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one, do you feel that top hip working as well, second side always a little bit harder, you've got seven guys, you can do it, seven, six, five, four, I know you love these, three, two, one, and relax, we've got eight, nine, and ten, <laughs> I am dying, <laughs> are we ready, let's go for eight, push, and push, and push, lots of fun, for three, for two, for one, and back, we've got nine and ten, <laughs> all right guys, I can do it, more of a mental game now, let's go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, Okay, this is where we all wish we chose a lighter band. <laughs> but no, it's good for us. Let's go, guys, last one, 10 times, let's finish strong. 10, stay with me, nine, eight, count it down, seven, six, keep that technique, five, four, three, two, and one, we made it, pop yourselves up, stretch that underneath arm, up and over, nice big exhale, awesome work, guys, I hope you enjoyed this ladder series, if you feel your hips as much as I feel my hips, I have done my job, and you're doing well, have a lovely day, make sure you stretch out, there's lots of stretches on the platform, and enjoy the rest of your day, thank you so much for joining, awesome job.